gentlemen, welcome to another video of Game Gear Linux. This time around I'm showing a triple screen game off in City Skylines. So I've been playing this game a little bit recently. It's uh, a game that I want to make a proper video for in the very near future. Um, I'm currently making a script for it. But I thought I'd show it off in its, all its triple screen glory. Uh, as you can see, it runs pretty damn nice. I'm getting about 40 plus FPS uh, on this. Uh, and it's a pretty cool game actually to run on triple screen, it looks pretty nice. For some reason I had to run it in windowed, if I run it in full screen then it doesn't detect the, uh, the right resolution. Uh, it says that it's running in 640 by 480 which isn't, if I change that then nothing happens, it just goes back to, uh, it goes back to 640 by 480. Um, okay so I've got shadows on high, text quality high, level of detail very high. Shadow distance very far, anisotropic and anti-aliasing both disabled. So everything is basically on full details apart from anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing. There are two settings that when I run games in triple screen I tend to turn off just just to ensure I get a couple more frames per second. But yeah, I've been wanting to make a triple screen video because I, I've sort of gotten into uh, my new format of, uh, of my other videos. So I thought I'd make a triple screen video because it, it sort of uses my old format where I'll just play the game and talk over it whilst I'm playing it. And I sort of enjoy doing that every now and again. I'm probably going to do a few more triple screen videos just because of that. It, it's, it's a nice, easy and scrappy way to do videos, I guess. You can see the hood is a bit like weird. Yeah, so they stop there. Yeah, so the hood does stretch across properly, sort of. <laughs> it's all brakes as well. And, uh, I'm too fussed anyway. So I can just build one just to make people happy. Uh, I'm not really gonna, I don't really want to save this. Um, I'll probably build it over, over here. Yes, as you can see, all the happy faces. I can see that because it all went green. Uh, all the happy faces. And here we have an elementary school. It's quite as uh, simple in how you make towns. You sort of make sectors. As you can see here, I've got the green sector. So that's your uh, all your residential houses and stuff like that. And then you've got your yellow sector over here and that's all your, uh, I think it's like, um, what is it, like factories and stuff like that. Oh, sorry, it says here. So yeah, low density. Uh, so the green is the residential zone. Your blue is the commercial zone. So that's all your shops and stuff. Uh, you got your yellow, which is your industrial zone. I mean, you got more here, but I can't actually make these yet. Um, you can see it tells you you got to reach a population of 7,000 before you unlock them. So they're high density residential zones. So they're a better version of what you've already got. Ah, oh, look at that, beautiful. This game looks incredible, as you can see. But yeah, it takes a lot of details uh, into account, so you got to sort of uh, know where the river's flowing. Uh, so you got to build a water pump, so uh, at the highest part of the river you build a water pump which pumps water to all the, t uh, the town. And then down lower you got to build the, the waste, the waste pump, I guess. And that's the one that spits all the shit out, basically. <laughs> um, okay, so it seems that this guy over here doesn't have water. Oh yes, he doesn't. You are indeed correct. So you got to connect these pipes here. There you go. And there you have it. I should have water now. So he should disappear. There you go. Now he's got water. Um, but when building these uh, sectors, you got to take into consideration uh, what the people like. So if it's in a residential zone, you don't want the industrial zone to be too close. Because it makes a lot of noise, and as you can see here, this I used to have some houses here, uh, but because the industrial zone was literally across the road, the people got really pissed off, uh, so they ended up demolishing the houses. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Rate and subscribe for future Linux content, and peace out. See you later, guys. Eee.